Good afternoon and happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm Michael Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Friday afternoon. State lawmakers have sent a bill to Governor Kim Reynolds' desk allowing small rural hospitals to apply for new licensure. The Iowa Senate earlier this week unanimously approved Senate File 75 to implement a state process for hospitals to be licensed as rural emergency hospitals. Under federal rules, the designation allows hospitals to discontinue inpatient care while still offering outpatient services and an emergency room. The Senate initially approved the bill in February, but Iowa House members approved an amended version by a 97-to-1 vote last week. Senator Mark Costello served as the floor manager for the bill. Janet Olson describes her first five years as Page County Veterans Affairs Executive Director as a whirlwind. Olson took office in February 2018 after serving as chair of Nemaha County's Veterans Services Board. A U.S. Air Force veteran, Olson says her office currently serves 823 veterans. She talked about the first five years of her term on KMA's Morning Line program this morning. Like many across the state, Red Oak school officials are having to crunch some extra numbers in their upcoming budget presentations. During its regular meeting this week, the Red Oak School Board discussed the district's budget proposals and priorities for the 2023-24 school year. School Superintendent Ron Lorenz says they're anticipating an increase in the district's current property tax of $15.41 per thousand dollars valuation, which had decreased over the past few years. And instructors, clerical workers, and administrators in the Essex School District are getting a slight pay increase Earlier this week, the Essex School Board approved a 2.5% wage increase for the district certified staff for the 2023-24 school year, as well as that same amount for the district's classified and administrators. KMA on track weather, chance of sprinkles and flurries early, then a slight chance of snow late this afternoon. Mostly cloudy, highs to the mid-30s. Tonight, a slight chance of snow in the early evening, partly cloudy, lows in the low teens. Partly sunny on Saturday, highs in the upper 20s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have a very pleasant and safe rest of your St. Patrick's Day. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.